Hi, my name is Mariah, and this is my tiny house on wheels, the Comet. And come on in! So here we are in the Comet, a uh, cost-efficient off-grid mobile eco-trailer. This is my tiny house on wheels. I live in it full time and I travel with it um, quite often from place to place that I'm going to be living for a couple of weeks, doing info sessions, teaching workshops, just showing people that you know they can live in a different way. This is how one person is doing it. So a lot of um, the stuff you see in the Comet is either recycled materials, original to the trailer itself, where I couldn't find recycled stuff, I use sustainably produced products and building materials. All of the framing had been destroyed by carpenter ants and even though the interior and exterior skins looked okay from the outside, it was pretty much destroyed like underneath the first layer. So My kitchen is fully functional. In order to keep my um, electric load down for the PV system, um, I opted for a hand pump faucet. It's also um, traditional to the 1960s trailers, it's called a rocket pump. So over here we have the dining area, we have this table, um, it actually folds down and then this whole area becomes a bed, um, you know, if you need a guest bed or something. So what I'm sitting on right now uh, looks like a couch, but it is also my bed at night. Um, during the day it functions as a couch, I can sit down, read books, watch movies. When I'm not using it or I just want more space for relaxing, I can have it out as a bed and two people can sleep here. Um, and then during the day, it's my little office. Um, I have my mirror here, I have storage for clothes. All of these shelves move around up and down. You know, they can be out of the way and I can hang a full-size dress. Otherwise, it's usually um, folded clothing storage and hooks everywhere for hanging jackets and sweaters up. This is my bathroom, just a composting toilet. You can use the liquids to fertilize plants and the solids then, you know, without composting and then the solids can be composted and then used as, um, you know, soil. You don't have to live in a trailer to do that. You can do that in your house or your apartment. In addition to all that, I'll have um, 555 watts of solar power um, powering this thing. It really does become like the, this really intense expression of yourself. And I think that that's what's so interesting about small spaces, tiny houses, custom built houses and spaces that people live in is it's this expression of the person's personality in like an architectural and design form. Love home and design? Make sure to subscribe to Space TV on YouTube.